if ever I was a bath bomb, this would be me. <laughs> Dark, glittery, and not quite sure what the contents are. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Emma here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I'd try something a little different and share with you a photo shoot involving bath bombs. I initially got this idea after rediscovering a few self portraits I created last year using a bathtub, either involving blue water or mixing the water with milk and floating flowers. These made for some pretty interesting images already, but I knew I could push it further by using some visually striking bath bombs. So naturally I did what any sane person would do and head to Lush, who are known for having a vast collection of unique and colourful bath bombs that make for some really cool visuals. And as you can imagine, I spent way too much time filming these various bath bombs in sinks. Eventually I decided on two, Intergalactic, which is a pink blue bath bomb with glitter resembling a galaxy, and Secret Arts, a black jelly bomb that looks like a witch's cauldron when dropped into water. I wanted some variety in the shoot, so these are two very different bath bombs that would make for some really cool images. And to make this shoot even more interesting, I got my cousin Sophia, who I cannot thank enough for this, to model for me, and also to help me with a few self-portraits of my own. Not the warmest. <laughs> All the way down. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cold. Oh my god. Oh, you look cute. <laughs> Intergalactic, whilst very pretty, didn't quite give me what I was after. It was a little bit too transparent when I really wanted the water to be more opaque. However, it did give a really nice deep rich blue colour and the glitter was a nice touch. We managed to get a few nice images from this. This is all glitter left over from the bath. <laughs> Let's get your cousin involved. <laughs> she has had to put up with a lot of. <laughs> she's had to put up with a lot of my photographic bullshit. <laughs> little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. <laughs> yeah, this is my bathroom, by the way. And, uh... <laughs> a bit precarious. <laughs> Might as well go through what equipment I have. My V1 with a uh, deep umbrella, medium white with a diffuser and trigger and Canon 5D Mark III and really honestly not enough bath space. As you can see. This was the complete opposite, it was pretty opaque and turned the water jet black with glitter floating on top of the mixture. It was exactly the right kind of visual I was after and made for a really successful shoot.
Next is the editing. So as you can see, I've already created a few already. I edited out the bathtub and just wanted it to look like a black lagoon. So I've already got a few examples of what I want and I'll be showing you guys how I created this. So using another image as an example, as you can see, it's a bird's eye view. It's also upside down, so we'll need to correct that and we'll need to get rid of the surrounding bathroom. For example, you can see the shower screen, my bikini top, <laughs> the washer, poofs, whatever you guys call them. I don't know what they're called, I just call them poofs. You can see all sorts and it's pretty distracting and not what I'm after in an image that's supposed to be visually striking. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit this. So first things first, I flip the image 180 degrees and straight away you'll notice that the perspective is slightly off. There's a bit of an uncanny valley going on where the top of the body looks bigger than the lower half of the body. This was due to how it was taken. Um, it's a bird's eye view, but it's leaning over the top half of the body. So I use perspective warp just to change that slightly. This can take a while. Um, I had to adjust it quite a bit until I got it just right. Next, I had to get rid of all of the surrounding bath area and also the white of the tub is quite distracting and a stark contrast from the black so that has to go and I actually used a large chunk of empty water I guess you could say from another image as it's clear there's nothing under the water and it makes for a good base so I know you're expecting some sort of genius idea or magic art to this but it is literally just copying and pasting the same area um, switching the glitter a little bit, changing the ripples so it doesn't look like the same image copied and pasted again and again and again. And I'm just kind of erasing the edges so there's no hard lines, fading each layer into the other until it looks more natural and you can't tell that it's a composite. After the bathtub is edited out and it just looks like one large area of black water, I concentrate on getting rid of a few blemishes and changing the contrast. I also decrease the vibrance a little bit and just decrease some of the red tones as well. And there you have a completed image. Overall, I am pretty happy with the shoot and I cannot thank my cousin enough for putting up with me and my perfectionism and making her get into a not so warm tub full of mush and coloured water. I would like to do this again, but with a larger tub, a lot of different colours, maybe a few more models. So this probably isn't the last that you've seen of photo shoots involving bath bombs. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back next week with another and if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out my social media pages, you can check out my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook pages and with that being said I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!
Yes, I forgot to mention. <laughs> there is popping candy in this. Are you having fun? <laughs> Oh no. Just tell me what to do. 